Clarence TV speaking to Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson after the 1 0 win here at Farnborough. Robbie, probably not our best performance that we're going to ever have, but we managed to get the victory. Yeah, I said on Saturday it was almost a perfect away performance. Um, if we'd have won 1 0, it would have been. Today we've won 1 0 away, and it's definitely not a perfect away performance. Um, in fairness, we prepared for them um, wrongly, really. Um, they played a different shape to to what we've um, seen in the last few games and what we expected, and a different style as well. Um, we we wanted to build our way up the pitch through the thirds and work our way up the pitch today, um, especially coming here and seeing the, the nice surface um, to play on. And, and we played into their hands, really, because they were full-on press um, and they wanted us to play feet and short. Um, so we played into their hands. So we kind of got, got it wrong um, from the start. And we've got a couple of bumps and bruises and fair play to the players that, that have them because they're, they're playing through them. Um, and we, we wanted early on to, to change our shape, but we couldn't because we knew we might be enforced into a change and we didn't want to change shape and then be forced into that change and then have to change back. Um, so we held off and I'm glad we did. <laughs> I'm glad we did now, obviously, in hindsight. Um, and we tried to change our style. Um, that We still played into their hands a little bit and we still maybe didn't change the style as much as I'd have liked, especially after my half-time team talk. I thought we still went into our habits that we wanted to start the game with um, that, that weren't working. But when you defend like we do, um, and that's as a whole, from, from the top down, from, from Simeon and, and Harry when he came on, right the way to the immense back three. Um, and then when the back three get beat or make a mistake, Ovie is there to make a hell of a save in the first half to keep it a nil-nil. Well, from the penalty and, and before that, the one with his legs. Um, it wasn't a penalty, by the way. Um, when you, when you defend like we do, you always give yourself a chance. And I, I felt good tonight that we would have a moment of quality. I, I did feel like we would have a moment of quality at, at some stage. And we flirted with that in the first half on a couple of occasions. Um, more so in the second half, especially when the subs came on. I thought, thought they made such a difference um, and re-energised us. And that one moment of quality came. Um, and, and thankfully, we, we put it in the back of the net and, and we're walking away with three points. And do you think they might have changed their style because they were quite direct with a lot of long throws into the box, uh, the yeah. towels out here ready for them for that, and maybe because Dave Winfield went off on Saturday and he might, wasn't going to be playing today, so they went extra direct thinking we're not going to be, because they talked about how big of a side we were and we didn't really go with the big team today. No, we didn't. Um, we knew they had a long, th long throw. Um, we spoke about that before the game, for sure. Um, but... I, I just think their general um, their general shape and and the way they pressed in that shape against ours really just threw our threw our game plan off coming into the game completely and so fair play to them it's, it's definitely the best I've seen of them having watched the last you know, four five six games with Glenn and definitely the best I've seen them I thought they were, for the first 35 minutes they were really good really good and you have to give them credit sometimes and 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 recognize that and our players stayed in the game you know they they saw it out. They saw that really good opening spell out of theirs, and I thought we actually finished the first half reasonably well. We started to get to grips with it, um, and second half was a much more even game. I think. I think they looked threatening without threatening, if that makes sense. I don't. I don't think Ovia made a save in the second half. I can't remember him making a save in the second half, but they certainly had pressure and and good moments um, to exploit, but didn't quite do that. But we did as well, um, and we just. Had had that, like I said, that one moment of quality, you know, the, the communication from Jazzy on his overlap um, helped Kale with his quality of pass and Kale's pass to Jazzy just said, cross me first time. And, and it was a great cross and, and we had people there. You know, I always speak about get in the box when we get it wide, run to goal. And, and Harry actually stood still because he's, he's one of the ones carrying a knock and can't move very well. Um, and it's a 
really good controlled finish from him and and ultimately he, he has won us the game he might have cost us the game <laughs> um, because I expected him to be able to move a bit more but he's he is struggling with his back and we have to manage that and we have been managing that for the last few games as you've seen with the team he's struggling with his back and um, but fair play to him for wanting to get out there and even though he couldn't move his presence up there made a big difference for us and it was our third penalty save of the season already it's a nice stat but we probably don't want to give them away in the first place well I don't think it was a penalty I thought Adebola defended as he did all game immensely you know he sh Jazzy it was obviously poor from Jazzy um, but that's a good thing and a good feature about this team when someone makes a mistake their mate is there behind them to back them up and get them out of the what you call it so um, and Ade did that superbly and it was never a penalty so I'm glad that we saved it and uh, I think no one can doubt the effort and the team spirit and the Cameron was talking about camaraderie I think I'm talking to him the other day and it was, a, it was a really tight bunch in those sort of difficult situations away from home on a Tuesday night in the rain as the, the cliche goes and we, we, we got over the line because of that togetherness yeah and I think there's been a case in point of the messages that we've been sending the group that there will be teams in this league and Farnborough are one of them that can attract really good players um, but individuals don't bring you success a team brings you success and I think the lads are showing right now especially and obviously we hope it continues that they are a team and they are together and and they want success I suppose one of those individuals is Ricky Holmes first time he's played against Chelsea for 12 years since he left us years ago and he was still a threat even at uh, 35. Good player, you know, good, very good player. I know, I know he's turned down full-time football to come here. So it says how much they think of him and and, and how much that he he's bought into what they um, what they've sold to him and what they can offer. So he's, he's a very good player, very experienced, and um, it was it was nice to see him and speak to him. I haven't seen him for a long, long time, so it was nice. And uh, Romford in the cup on on Saturday, a bit of a banana skin, only one of two games with a three-league difference between the two sides so and we're struggling a bit at the back are you and Mickey going to get your boots on and play centre back maybe because we're you played it was only had one registered central defender there with Ade really well you can't say we're struggling at the back we've just come off back to back clean sheets yeah, so um, I think while we're keeping clean sheets I think I'll keep my boots firmly in the bag <laughs> and uh, how about the test of, of that game it's one we've got to really take seriously because it's a good chance to get through to the next round that's it yeah we, we as a group will always take every game seriously you know, we we know the history with with Rumford as well. Um, I've been kindly informed of that on numerous occasions, so we know the history and we know how important it is to the older fans, especially. And it's important to us, you know, we and the club. We want to we want to have a cup run as players. We want to have the cup run for the club financially and and more importantly the fans. And just to touch on the fans, the we've travelled as a group, but there's the same old faces behind that goal cheering us on. They've travelled to miles and we can't thank them enough you know the, the reception they gave the boys tonight um, was amazing a and throughout the game we could hear them the whole game and um, thank you to them okay well done tonight uh, Robbie on the win and uh, we'll speak to you again on Saturday Cheers, ben.